The drums are so loud. Sounds like the cheers from a stadium crowd, swaying with high and low notes, rushing like the waves from the sea. But who are these people that go passing by? You know, <laughs> I love my Yaman banana, shouting to Miss Sue to see if she's received any post or food from the market. I love running down to Paul Bogle Corner, listening to a few stories and bathing down by the river with a few friends. I can remember when they told us in 1953 when a man called Winston Churchill came to Middleton High School. They remembered his dicky bow and that bad smelling cigar. But they managed to wave as he went passing by. When I think of Jamaica, I smile at the times I sit down with the little boy picnic them and listen to the Anansi stories. Boy, that spider using brain pan everybody. <laughs> Every day the sunshine came, hot, bold, and without mercy. We laughed, played music. Dominoes. <laughs> Mr. said the man them trace each other asking how much you have. Take that. My pass. How much you have. Then the shouting of the winner. What should have been such a simple and quiet game turned out as all war over bones. <laughs> I recall listening to the music and watching the mothers dance in their beautiful colors. You know, our mothers made sure we prayed, being thankful we are living in the land of the free. We had survived slavery and fought our way to freedom. But who are they that come passing by? They came in the name of the king, his most gracious majesty, King George VI, in nickname Bertie, you know. He was the king of the United Kingdom and the dominions of the British Commonwealth. They came telling us we had a chance to travel we were told we could work, join forces, became nurses, worked in factories, and earn a good wage to send back home, all because they needed us. Well, we never gave it a second thought. Everyone from Billy to Marga Dog from the Forge, start for pack. Mommy, get we clothes ready. Daddy would give us the When you go out, dear. You know them talk there. Because when you hear them, they talk there. You stand to attention. What a beautiful thing to go to another place on a big, big ship with we Sunday best and sandy colored grip. It never take us long together, 28 pounds. Our papers and passport ready. Skilled men and women ready to take that trip to a foreign country, saying, goodbye Jamaica, me soon come. Destination, <laughs> England. The motherland, the country we belong to, for we are British. Here we are, standing in line, preparing for battle. In the king's name, 
All that is said, all that is done, we stand in unity. Our lives have begun and we will stand for our country. Knowing that lives can be taken and we stand in the name of the King. In the name of the King. In the name of the King. What do you think England was great? and a wonderful place to come. But then we saw on the windows of houses, no Irish, no blacks, and no dogs. London, it was not the place for me. We came to a very cold place, cluttered into homes and sought employment according to our skills. We were very skilled. You know, some of us joined the forces, became nurses after our dear Mary Jane Grant. But you would better know her as Mary Seacole. We drove buses. We worked in factories. When our finances became better, we sent for our family members. We are British, born British. We were invited here on British passport. We came here because the king called for us. But things change, really change. We don't seem to be British anymore. In fact, them calling us aliens because now them calling for us to go home. <laughs> Did you say go home? The days of dancing with delight to a drum has become a dance of sorrow. With wounds that cannot heal, a mirror dropped from a great height, a height with pieces that cannot be found. This is broken beyond measure. But through, through the brokenness, there is hope. My story has not been revealed, but will be in time. But for now, people, celebrate our history. Celebrate our culture our unique identity. You know, Bob Marley wrote a song called Redemption Song. The song says, But my hand was made strong by the hand of the Almighty. We forward in this generation triumphantly. Won't you help to sing? these songs of freedom cause all i ever have redemption songs let us keep forwarding commemorating our windrush generation teach and educate how the windrush generation changed the face of great britain my story is broken beyond measure. The Windrush Story, written by Sharon Jackson. <laughs>